you don't want to get kicked out of the coin shop. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly how to avoid that. But even more important, I have six big tips that you can follow to make sure your experience buying silver, buying gold works out to your benefit, that you're getting a good value for your money. And trust me, you don't want to get kicked out of the coin shop. We're going to cover that at the end, the etiquette, because going to a coin shop, it can be a little intimidating. There's a lot of stuff around. It's a unique environment. I'll explain to you what to expect and how to make the most of it in this video. You and me right now, let's go. Rule number one, you got to know what you want. Isn't that true for so much of life? Do your research beforehand. Do you want to buy a 10 ounce bar? Do you want to buy a sovereign coin like the South African Kruger Ant? Whatever it is you want, do your research up front. Call ahead to the coin shop. Ask them if they have it in stock. That'll avoid you getting there, getting overwhelmed with all these choices and decisions and maybe making a decision you might later regret. Rule number two, don't overpay. Hey, the prices can vary wildly between different coin shops, online retailers, and eBay. Do your research. You want to make sure you're getting the most silver or the most gold for your money. You want to make sure you're getting a good value. If you're making a large purchase, you could save yourself thousands of dollars by comparing prices. Sometimes the online retailers are a better value than your local coin shop. But oftentimes, for me, my local coin shop will have better prices than what I can find at the online retailers. And I can go touch and feel and see what I'm getting firsthand before I pay. But the bottom line is do your research, guys. Prices vary wildly. I hate to use this analogy, but it's kind of like buying a new car, right? You got to shop around, do a little work, but the money you save, that means more silver, more gold for your stack. Don't you forget at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you how not to get kicked out of the coin shop. Not that I have any experience with that, but here, tip number three, bring this to the coin shop with you, cash. Don't bring this, your plastic credit card. Two reasons why. You don't want to rack up credit card debt. Debt is bad. But the other big reason is you will pay more if you buy with a credit card. Most coin shops, most online retailers will charge up to 3% more for purchases made with a credit card. So you want to use cash. Don't show up with no cash and just your credit cards and not be shocked if you get charged an additional premium above what you're already paying over the spot price. Tip number four, handle with care. Kind of like my new glasses. Do you like my new glasses? You probably don't notice because you know what? My new glasses are the exact same pair as I had with my old glasses. Susie tried her darndest to get me to buy a different style of glasses. And I said, no, I want the same glasses. After two hours at the eyeglass shop, guess what? I got the same glasses. Now, number four, handle with care. When you're in the coin shop, Handle the coin, handle whatever they hand to you. If they hand it to you, just don't grab stuff, right? Handle it the same way that the coin shop employee or owner handled it. A lot of these things are collectible. They can be easily damaged, and you don't want to cause that problem for yourself. We've got two more critical tips to cover, and then I'm going to tell you what to expect at the coin shop, because you need to be prepared and, of course, not that it ever happened to me, but how to not get kicked out of the coin shop. Tip number four, selling. Make sure if you're selling silver or gold or platinum or palladium, whatever floats your boat, back to your coin shop, that you're getting a good price. Again, it's kind of like buying. Shop around. And it's a horrible analogy, but I'll use it again. It's like a car, right? If you're going to trade your car in or sell it to CarMax or whoever, 
you're not just going to take the first offer that comes through. You're going to check the blue book value. You're going to maybe shop it around. You may try to sell it yourself. You may try to sell it on eBay, whatever. You know, same thing when you're selling your silver and gold. Shop around. Look, you can do a lot of clicking with your mouse very quickly. You can also pick the phone up, call a different uh, number of different coin shops, get an idea. Because sometimes, guys, they will lowball you and you want to make sure that if you're selling, you're getting the best competitive price. And now we've arrived at the final tip. And don't forget, I'm going to tell you how I got, I mean, how not to get kicked out of a coin shop at the end of the video. Tip number six is trust. You want to make sure you're dealing with somebody that you trust. Whether it's an online dealer or a local coin shop, read reviews. In this day and age, there are so many review uh, sites, Google reviews, Trustpilot. Read everything you can, but at the end of the day, look, you got to rely on yourself. And I don't know about you, but the older I get, the more I've realized and recognized I can trust my gut pretty well. If you go somewhere and you just get a funny feeling, you know what? Say, hey, thanks for your time. Uh, I'm going to think about it and maybe come back. Trust your gut. You know, it can be a little intimidating going to a coin shop, right? They've got millions or hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of silver, gold, other precious metals. It's almost like you're going into a high security environment. What you can expect a lot of times could be bars on the window. You'll walk up to the door. It'll be locked. There might be a buzzer. Uh, the shop that I frequent here in St. Louis, Scotsman Coin, they have like a buzzer on the wall. The light has to turn red and green. I always get kind of confused when I'm walking in there. Uh, it's just a unique environment. And hey, a lot of employees, a lot of owners of coin shops, I mean, they're dealing with high dollar things. They can be a little peculiar, maybe uh, slightly paranoid because they have to be. So it can be a bit of an intimidating environment to walk into. But what you don't want to do is get yourself kicked out. And I'm going to give you a couple tips to make sure you don't get kicked out of the coin shop. You got to be cool, right? You're cool. You're watching this video right now. You're part of Ron's Basement. By the way, if you enjoy my content, please subscribe. But when you go to the coin shop, be cool. If there's other people there, don't snoop around. Don't kind of, you know, look at what they're doing. Don't be like asking questions or, or saying stuff like, hey, uh, if you're looking to sell that 10 ounces to the coin shop, I'll give you a couple extra dollars more per ounce. You'll get thrown right out. You got to be discreet. People are dealing with precious metals, which are very valuable, and oftentimes large amounts of cash. So people are a little on edge, right? Just be cool, mind your own business, and in that regard, everything will be okay. You also want to be very, very careful because, again, you're handling high dollar items. If the owner hands you something, be very careful with it. If you've been eating Cheetos, has anybody here been eating Cheetos or Doritos? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, here, we got the bear back here. Here. If you just sat out in your car and ate a bag of these imitation Doritos and you got the orange stuff all over your fingers, uh, wash your hands before the coin shop dealer hands you the coin. He's not going to want his brilliant, uncirculated uh, silver American eagle to have your Cheeto fingers all over it. Uh, if you think you're going to sneeze, right? Put down what you're holding. You don't want to blow snot all over the coins. You just want to use your head in that regard when you're in the coin shop. And whatever you do, if you're going to have Mexican food for lunch, you know, one of those $6.99 Mexican restaurant specials where they load you up with beans, do that after you go to the coin shop. These are often small, confined spaces. And if you drop a gas bomb, trust me, you may be asked to never come back to that particular coin shop. Hey, on a serious note, I hope you got some benefit from watching this video. Those are six real tips, and I hope you know now what to expect when you go to the coin shop. These are unique places. Try to develop a relationship with a local coin shop owner that you trust, that you know is giving you good products, because there are 
fakes out there, number one, right? But you also want to be getting a good price. There's a lot of great people in this business. It's great that we love to stack silver and gold. It's even greater to me that you like to join me here in the basement. You know you're always welcome. Watch another video. Be well, my friend, and I'll see you soon.